as he does it. All right up there? So far, so good. Here's our three symbols. Well, that took less time than I expected. Shiva's axe. Let's see here. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress, tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map with an axe. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. Let's see what's behind the trident for. Another old fortress, just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. Last but not least, the Bodor. And another old fortress, sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. climbing up. Well, was it worth the climb? And then some. Found the three symbols. Really? Yep. Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect. Parasharama. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that Treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a grenade, I'll know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learned a lot. Hoysalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Hmm. Made a real mess of it. What, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. 
So, where to next? There's the fort above the waterfalls with the trident. And there's the fort in the mountains sporting the axe. I suppose I should have asked about the dregs before I took the job. Not much to tell. Nice to see you, Shiva. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Here we go. There'd be water. And now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner turns my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want us off to get ahead of us. Care to join me? Copy that. <laughs> Should we dance? Try not to break it this time. Sassy. Just, um, taking it all in. <sighs> Welcome to downtown Halabadoo. The last known resting place, the Tusk of Ganesh. Spectacular. Hmm. And what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? It must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. Should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm. Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadoo? 